Hi guys and welcome to Mud Rats Hunting and Outdoors. Today uh, we're going to be showing you how to make a simple fox whistle uh, just by using a couple of spent shotgun shells. So um, first to start off with is uh, basically you're going to want obviously an empty shotgun shell. The first thing you want to be doing is knocking the old primer out of it so that the primer is no longer there. Then uh, the tools are required to do this guys you're just going to have to um, you know if you've got a drift or you've got a uh, any of you who are hunting will obviously have your own reloading gear if not if you don't have something to punch the primer out uh, something as simple as, as a small Phillips head screwdriver will do the job and uh, basically so you want two cases you want the low brass cases okay that's a high brass case you can use those but you're going to get a different pitch okay uh, and you're going to find it harder to uh, to tune the um, the pitch length with the uh, high brass so I tend to use the low brass um, you know it, it's just um, you know test and try I've tried it with the high brass I've tried with the small brass you basically get two different notes um, you know you get more of a deeper note uh, with the high brass you get more of a high pitch which is what you want you know imitate a, a wounded rabbit uh, as such but, uh, but first thing you want to do guys is like I say you want two pairs of pliers or a pair of ice skips and a pair of pliers uh, get yourself a candle or if you've got a butane torch I just use a candle it's just as easy so basically you get your candle and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit it you're gonna heat the brass until it'll start to smolder and smoke a little bit when it gets to that point it should be malleable enough to then get your, uh, your your two pairs of pliers and separate it you don't want to turn around and to be forcing at it if you force at it you're just gonna mar up the brass and it's gonna be rough when you put it in your mouth and not just that but it's it's gonna look terrible uh, so then basically once you've done that I've already done that with this one obviously you're going to take that you're going to keep the, the plastic uh, because you're going to need that uh, down the track but anyway we'll get to that in a minute first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna find where the primer is originally uh, seated it has quite a large protrusion on the inside so you're going to want to get a uh, an, ex an old extension bar from a ratchet set or uh, a solid bit of steel dowel and basically sit it on something flat and solid like a desk or a uh, piece of steel and just knock that flat. Once you knock that flat, when you turn it over again, uh, what you're going to find is it's going to be quite a rough edge on the inside and that's not your, what you want. So basically you'll put that aside once you've done that. You'll do the other one exactly the same. Once you've done that, you'll then um, switch back up here. Once you've done that, then you basically want to cut yourself a piece of the original plastic. It'll look like this, and basically you'll sit it. The easiest way to do it, guys, is just to sit it inside the other cap. Get the other cap, work out the side, how far in it's going to seat, and then cut it off. Now, once you've done that, you'll push the two together. Now you can tune the length here by you know you can either have it setting out like this or you can I like to just butt it completely up together that seems to be a nice tune length although like I say if you want to uh, change that you can just a matter of separating a separating it slightly okay once you've done that you want to get yourself a, uh, a drift or a punch uh, basically then and punch the hole back through so you get a nice round hole if you don't have a punch or a drift or something like that just use a Phillips head screwdriver uh, an old one preferably so you're not you know damaging the end of it and then uh, do the same thing with the other side now once you've done that your uh, whistle is pretty well set to go uh, you know you, you can either leave it as black which is uh, you know or dark it's up to you uh, and this is one I pretty much just uh, knocked up to uh, to show you guys this is one that I made before and I polished it up with a bit of a uh, bit of brasso and the nice and shiny but uh, you know and it's quite simple. Like a lot of other um, fox whistles, you don't have to hold this one in your mouth uh, with your hand. You can basically just place it between your lips uh, and blow. And by moving your uh, your tongue or moving your lips in in a different way, you're going to get a different different note, a different tune. So it's as simple as this, guys. So it's that easy. And uh, you know, before you know it, you'll be calling up foxes left, right, and center. Anyway, guys, um, how to make a fox whistle out of shotgun shells. Quite simple and uh, easy to make. And no doubt, 
all of you uh, have probably got a couple uh, event designs laying around. So instead of going out and spending forty or fifty dollars on a, on your on uh, on an expensive box whistle, in five ten minutes, guys, you can make your own. It's quite simple. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, like and favorite, and uh, keep an eye out in the near, in the uh, near coming future for uh, all. Also, be making a budget uh, e-call electronic caller for uh, foxes, and I'll uh, describe and show you how to do that. Anyway, guys, uh, happy and safe hunting until then, and uh, take care.